When Lordaeron fell to the Scourge, few were affected more than the Knights of the Silver Hand. After their disbandment, many retreated to an ancient monastery in the hills of Tirisfal and formed the Scarlet Crusade, swearing to eradicate the undead and all who would aid them. As High Inquisitor, Sally Whitemane leads the Crusade in their fight against the menace of undeath, purifying its corruption wherever it takes root. Whitemane is an aggressive ranged support that bolsters healing to her allies by damaging her enemies. Whitemane's trait, Zeal, allows her to provide healing for her allies. Teammates that are healed by her abilities receive the Zeal buff. For a short period of time, allies with Zeal will heal for a large percentage of damage that the Inquisitor dishes out. Desperate Plea is Whitemane's first ability. When used, she heals an ally for a small amount and infuses them with zeal. The ability has almost no cooldown, however, White Mane is inflicted with desperation each time she uses it. Desperation stacks up to three times and will greatly increase the mana cost of Desperate Plea. White Mane's W ability, Inquisition, provides consistent damage and, in return, consistent healing by way of zeal. When cast, White Mane channels a beam that damages and slows enemy heroes, allowing allies to secure a pick on enemies that are in retreat. Her E ability, Searing Lash, is White Mane's main source of damage. Searing Lash damages all enemies in a line and will strike a second time if an enemy hero is hit. Due to its short cooldown, it can be used to poke enemy heroes and delay objective captures. White Mane's first heroic, Scarlet Aegis, calls upon the light to grant zeal, armor, and a heal to all nearby allies. This can be used in a pinch to mitigate incoming AoE damage and help provide a window for extra team healing through zeal. White Mane's second heroic ability is Divine Reckoning. After a slight delay, she unleashes Holy Wrath upon all enemies in a large area and deals continuous damage for a short time. Due to the ability's size, Divine Reckoning is a great way to quickly heal teammates with zeal and provide a burst of damage that will give your allies the edge in a team fight. White Mane's effectiveness as a healer comes from her ability to deal damage to enemy heroes. Remember to utilize the zeal buff on your allies in team fights in order to maximize your healing potential. White Mane's level 1 talent, Clemency, grants her the option to cast Inquisition on her teammates for a more direct heal. Due to desperation, mastering White Mane requires proper management of your mana while healing multiple targets. Thankfully, she has several talents at level 4 that help to mitigate this. Unwavering Faith reduces the cost of Desperate Plea and provides a shield at maximum desperation. High Inquisitor removes desperation and restores mana when Inquisition is used, and Indulgence returns mana when heroes are hit by Searing Lash. When playing against White Mane, keep in mind that she does not have a practical escape. Dive the backline and put pressure on her in order to take her out of action or force a retreat that leaves her teammates vulnerable. In addition to the slow on her W ability, White Mane has other options for disrupting enemy movement. At level 13, Harsh Discipline roots enemy heroes that are damaged by Searing Lash while Inquisition is active on them. At level 20, Judgment Day causes all enemy heroes hit by Divine Reckoning to be pulled to the center, making it all the more difficult to escape their trial by fire. High Inquisitor White Mane has come to purify the nexus of its corruption. Will you stand in her way or arise as her new champion? Make sure to leave us a comment or subscribe to Heroes of the Storm on YouTube and we'll see you in the nexus. The light has spoken.